Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This week we have a, a visitor. Let me show you. Let's see if you can see him. There's Andrew from Andrew and Barbara's channel. And today we're going to be doing a little job on his van. Oh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Andrew was work, but not today. There he is. Oh, BJ. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if you know what this is. We're just going to spin the van round now. It's uh, it's tight getting onto my drive, so if we spin the van round, it gives uh, gives us a little bit more room to get it on. Are you warm enough? <laughs> oh, hang on, don't kill me. <laughs> Morning. Look at some coming in of it, fellas. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I've done a job already on front of your van. I've yeah. converted it, yeah? I've converted it for you. I was sat there and I'm like... That's funny, that. Uh, that is funny. I've got nothing to do. <laughs> Richard will love that one. <laughs> He's in the fold now, Richard. In the fold. The Brotherhood of Crafters. Different van on the drive today. This van belongs to that fella there, that's Andrew. Um, check out their channel, Andrew and Barbara. Morning. On YouTube and Instagram. It's in for a massive job today. What have you done? We're converting it from a Mercedes to a VW. It took 30 seconds. Job done. <laughs> <laughs> no, today, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> today we're going to be putting a standpipe in Andrew's fuel tank for him today. Um, hopefully that's going to be the hardest part of the job um, fingers crossed my track record it might be the easiest part of the job <laughs> <laughs> it uh, we'll see we we'll see how things pan out anyway this last couple of weeks if you've been following the channel you'll understand I've had a I've had a few dilemmas snap bolts having to buy equipment that really um, I didn't want to buy but then having a stroke of good luck and having a friend who had two of the parts sat on his garage floor ready for the skip so we've had, a, we've had our downs but we've had our ups as well so we're back on track and hopefully we can get Andrew back on track safety first we've chucked the front wheel and we've chucked the back wheel so what we're going to do is we're going to jack up the near side of the van um, put it on axle stands Lower the fuel tank out, pull that out of the way, and put a standpipe in where the pump is. So pretty straightforward, and it shouldn't... Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording, sorry. Pretty straightforward, and it shouldn't take us too long. So let's get stuck into it. First things first, take these off here. Show you in there. There's that screw. Just take that one out. And drop it on the floor. <laughs> Stick the cap back on so you don't end up getting any foreign objects in your tank. First things first, make sure you've got it 
on an axle stand nice and secure I need to go and adjust that chock over there it's not doing anything we've sprayed all the bolts with releasing agent and now next job is to release them fuel lines up there split them now we don't know whether to call an ambulance or get him a pillar I don't know what he's doing under there <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> the nose into the van. I thought you were having a sleep. I'm sure I heard snoring. It was maybe the dog. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> right. So before you lower off your tank, you need to disconnect both these float and return fuel lines and this electrical connection just here. We just need to uh, clean this up a little bit. We're going to release some fluid on there. Give it a good wash out because the actual clip is seems to be full of grease and dirt. Just give that a little work now. See if it'll come off. And there you go. Job's a good one. Just got these two to split now. Um, there will be diesel in these lines. So as you can see, there's a bit of muck behind that one. Um, in there. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. See, there's a muck actually in the back of that clip so we need to we need to clean that up as well so we'll just try and flick that dirt out of there and that should work now I think we'll give it a little blast weird There we go. It's all over my shoulder. <laughs> right, we'll try and get that out now. That yes, please, mate. That's it. <laughs> right, that's one popped out. Break that line. Then catch the diesel. Uh, and then wear some. That's man colour. There we go. Finally got it. Finally got a face full of diesel as well. Catch the diesel in the bucket. <coughs> do you want to do that one, Andrew? It's just under there. Where the strap comes round. Pop the strap off. Push it down past the end of the tank. That way we don't mix them up. Right, just let go of it, it can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. right, do you want to come out? So just crack that off a little bit. And we'll use the weight of the tank to load itself off. There shouldn't be that much weight in it, but an eighth You'd of a You'd be tank. surprised. <laughs> <laughs> 20 litres of fuel is 20 kilos. Just making sure it's not snagging anywhere on the front here. <clears throat> if, if you let it down slow like that, you're... Uh, uh, you can control it. Uh. That's, is that just a cable tie? Is that a wire? That's no. a cable tie there. We just need to. So what we've got here, this is a sensor cable going to the tank. There's no pressure on it, but um, what we'll do is we'll cut it there, yes, just in case. You know, we we don't want to damage anything. We removed the 
solenoid valve earlier this morning and so we could get that out of the way because that actually sat in the way right i'll just lift the tank up if you can pull the jack away now mate right. yep Polystyrene little cap there. We'll just uh, we'll glue, hot glue that back together, mate. Pain in the ass these way, is it? Oh, you think they were giving wire away for free when somebody wired this up? <laughs> That's, it doesn't want to. I know it can Come that last little bit. There we go. There we go, mate. That's it. To just take that off there. What's that? A little earth connection, you know, static line. Go in your fill-in. So what we'll do is we'll try and release this bit first. Then we'll release these clips. The same type of clips as what's on the front. So we'll clean them off and then lift the pump out. It's not the pump, that's the fuel gauge <laughs> and the lifters, so. so. Am I disconnecting these? Yeah, yeah, just, um, they should come out pretty pretty clean. Just push on the end and slide. If they're a bit stiff, we'll, uh, we'll get some of that releasing fluid on them. Oh, we got it. And then these ones here, you pinch them and you push them at the same time. But the way they're mounted, they're awkward. So it sits out, it sits out like that. Ah, right. So you pinch the two tabs. Ah, the one that That's why I had the little screwdriver. Yeah, I think I need the screwdriver yeah. for that. Good luck. It's still under the van. <laughs> I'll get the, I'll get the retrieval tool. Special German tool for this. <laughs> Let's pop that back in while we're here. Yeah, just give it a little blast. Mm -hmm. Blast that shit out. <coughs> they just get filled with dust and shit. There's no clean way of doing it. We'll give, it a, we'll give it a wash off before we break any of the seals. Right, so. Just flick that up to you. Just a gentle flick. Push the top one in and we'll give it a pry. That's it. That's it. Right, we'll just pull them. You can't be gentle with them. Same with this one. Yeah. Let me just catch that. What are you doing? They're awkward, eh? I don't want to move that one. Yeah, it's probably dirty, isn't it? If you can get it shifting on one side, it'll probably come with watch your finger. So we've got it moving there. Just get the bottom one moving now. There you go. You watch your thumb. Uh, right, you do the top one. It. Teamwork makes a dream work. That's it. <clears throat> oh, watch your face. You've got some man cologne on as well. Oh. I'll run. It's only what's in the pipe. It's going to get messier than that today. <laughs> <laughs> right, tank's out. We just need to get that cap off now. And that's what's going to be the hard part, I think. If you remember from my video, um, we lost about an hour and a half to the cap. So we're hoping. This is going to be a lot easier. Fingers crossed. Let me say these, it's dabbing a little bit. I'll let the camera see what we've done. We've managed a bit of a Heathcliff sort of thing. <laughs> but, uh, 
Not bad, 11 minutes, <laughs> 11 minutes, that's all it took, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to show you something. Now everybody says you can use that for your diesel. There's the other side of it. So you could, if there was a pipe going in there, kind of use it, but how would you secure it? So for me, we'll drill our own in this side and then uh, we'll go from there right we've cut the standpipe to length and basically put a little step in it because when we position this we want this pipe to come down the side of all the bits in the middle there so when that's in position it'll be there so under there we have a couple of areas where, I don't know if you can see that, we have a couple of areas where we can get in, um, where it's ribbed. So we're going to aim for that one there. So on the top there <coughs> we've put a little mark in. What I'm going to do now is just uh, drill. Are you through? I'm going to try and show you this now. So that's a standpipe in, tightened up. We've put a little dog leg in it, so it misses all these centre pieces here. But just, just down there, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a, a bit of a, a loop to keep all this away from the side and central. We've put the pipe through there. We've made sure it stops about 10 mil short of the bottom. So if uh, if you are running low fuel. This isn't going to take the last little bit. And you just give it a little wiggle, make sure it's clear. And it is. We've also give the bottom of there a bit of a rinse out. And look at all the debris that's in the old diesel. That's not good, is it? Right, let's put this back in. So what we'll do is we'll just reset the seal. See that notch there? That lines up two little prongs under there so we'll just make sure that fits in before we bring it all back up let's get the float out you know float out so when it goes back in that will sit like that Ooh. what's that What's that? The lead one, Oh, you're just not trying. <laughs> oh. Pretty tight, very bad. That's us back together. Try to put fuel line on. So I need a little connector piece on there. Probably in here. Yeah, it'll just be that black plastic. Good 
wrapping in foam, couldn't I suppose? Have you got any foam in it? Do you know, I've got some of that on. I forgot to put it, put it in. Well, I've got stuff lying about, mate. Hmm. I'll it dress up. it in, I'll dress it in. I'll make it look pretty. They're cheap made things, aren't they? So if it works, it works, that's the main thing. You, you've got the hard part, you've got to make it work. Put a little socket test there if you need it. Won't go over the top of there though, will it? I've got some long ones. Have you? Yeah. Well, that'd be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Next life easier. Three eighths, you want to. Do, do we bring one out? That's sitting in there. It should be three eighths, is it? Is it a 10? Yeah. Cool. Is it close? I don't know how the distribution of tasks was handed out this morning, but I got the shitty job underneath. And look at him. Look at all the fucking nice jobs. No, show me your hands. I've had to drill a big hole in the van, man. Not a speck of dirt or dust on him. Look at him, he's pristine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, while I've been under there, Andrew's been tinkering, doing whatever he does. He's put a big hole in van, and he's managed to put that plate on. Well, we had to do a little bit of adapting to that plate, but we've got it on now, and uh, we're not far off, are we? Yeah. I've been underneath cable tying and dieseling and all the rest of it, doing electrical connections, and he's just... Easy, yeah. so easy. Yeah, he's, he's only talking like technically now when he's going to do. He's going to do that because he's done that all day. Not a thing. Just sat round. Look, then all these cups of tea. Not mine. All these. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Stop, stop. Right. Take it back. There's a cable here. Getting pinched. Lift it up. Right. Yeah. yeah, go again. Go on, give it a wiggle. That's it, all through. And there you go, tank back in. This area here is tidied back up. Everything's back in place. We've run the fuel line along over the heat shield, down the back of the heat shield. And over to that side it runs down past the gas tank as you can see over there that's the cable for the pump now we need to go and mount the the pump so we're going to drop the van down and jack up that side just show you quickly what we've been doing today so that's the big hole andrew put through we've dropped the exhaust down run it across to the other side currently fixing that in position um, we're keeping it over that side so it's away from the windows and the vent for the heater that he has inside the water heater so we also have coming in there is our diesel line and also our air intake and that's just sat there at the minute i need to probably cable tie that to something we've just got it we've just got it sat here so i'll probably mount that round there we haven't got a we haven't got a bracket for it yet to be honest it's just sitting there, where I think that might be all right to be honest. Just tucked in there. We'll we'll secure it somehow, and then we've got our control cable that runs all the way down to the pump. So I'll show you that now. So this is a fuel I run around from the tank into inline filter, and then this is the pump, and we've got this towards the front of the van um, to just try and reduce the noise the actual entry is down there you can see the exhaust running away so keeping this up here we've wrapped it with some neoprene as well just to try and quieten it down it's on its own little mount to try and reduce the noise and vibration 
So next thing, um, finish off the exhaust and then prime it up. So that's the exhaust up in position. I know it looks close to the wheel, but it's not. We've uh, we've angled it away. But uh, yeah, all done. Right, we've got it wired in in a fashion. We just want to see if it works. So we've got it on now. P10, whatever P10 is. Let's see what P6 is. Are we priming? It's going to give us an error. It's the same battery. Let's have a little while. Right, that's it priming away. It turns out our temporary cable was causing us a bit of a nightmare. As the cable was heating up, it was uh, it was dropping voltage. So we've changed that out for a, a 21 amp rated cable. And as you can see, everything's working as it should be. And you might be able to hear the pump priming up in the background. Right, we've run it, we've run it up to full speed, full temperature, we're now letting it go through its cooling cycle, and uh, that's it. It's all down to Andrew now, yeah. Andrew needs to go home, yeah. locate that, run that, do that, <laughs> hoover that, and it's finished. But uh, It's been a good day, a long day, but uh, we've lost light now, it's, it's, it's definitely black dark outside. Got to back it off the drive now. It's been a murk all along. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing at? <laughs> Bye. 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 So uh, Andrew's heading off home now. We've had a, a good day. I've got a takeaway. <laughs> so what do you reckon to that? So anyway, mate, it's been a good day. I've enjoyed it's been brilliant. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. We've, we've got it done. We've got it working. Just yeah. needs titivating now, doesn't it? Riley helped. Zero. <laughs> anyway mate you'll take care yeah and you well i hope you enjoyed that video if you want to see how the rest of the install went ahead jump across to andrew and barbara's channel um i'll put a link just above there and uh go over have a look at their channel drop my like and a subscribe um you know how it, far it goes for us little channels but um yeah really good weekend we've got andrew in a good position now where he can finish off the rest of the job and uh, he can have a Chinese diesel heater running like the rest of us. Yeah, it's been a good weekend. Really enjoyed it. Hopefully, here's to many more. See you all again. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.